Autodesk Vault 2012's integration with Microsoft Outlook uh, begins by just taking a look at a, an email trail that we have inside of Outlook 2010. So we have a number of uh, correspondence back and forth of a particular topic. And we have an Autodesk Vault ribbon. So we're logged into Vault and one of the things we can do is take all these, highlight them, and check in all three of these messages. We can choose exactly where they go inside of Vault. So now that we have the files checked into Vault, let's go and check in the remaining file and you'll notice that it knows that it uh, it has it already inside of Vault so it's going to give you a warning saying it's, it's already there. So we don't uh, overlap these. These are actually uh, uh, mutually exclusive um, emails that are part of the thread. Let's go and take a look inside of the vault. So we actually are indexing properties and fields and data out of these. If we want to take a look at the preview, we can, without having to crack open each one of these, we can use the preview window just like we do with uh, Word and Excel, PowerPoint, etc. And we can actually see the email trail. Uh, we can actually open it up and view it in window, see what these are, uh, see what these are about. Now let's go back and add one more into that. So now as we go in, take a look, we can actually set an automatic mapping up so all emails that go in, we can set a rule and a mapping up so new future emails go into the same folder. Likewise, if I were to take a new email and drop it in, which would be a fourth correspondence, basically a, a fourth message that is part of the same trail, we can go and add that in and it'll automatically be added to that folder inside a vault. 